<laughs> Everybody, we're here with uh, actor oh, Jared Cohn. Right and, here. And there you go. Get it all set. <laughs> and Jackie Moore. And they are uh, here to talk about the new film, Dawn, that comes out on August 2nd. Jared, Jackie, how are you? Doing great. 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 <laughs> Yeah, a beautiful day in uh, sunny California. In beautiful, sunny SoCal. Mm -hmm. uh, well, okay, one of you can jump on this one. Can you tell us about the film? Basically, the film is about a, a rideshare driver who is kind of a serial killer, um, moonlighting as a Uber driver, I would say. And she feels that she is taking uh, justice into her own hands and basically punishing people for being what she believes to be not uh, not okay in her eyes. So uh, yeah, I think it's a, I, I haven't seen the movie. I don't know if Jared has yet, but um, basically it's a thriller and there's gonna be a lot of creepy moments, I hope. And I love the script. I thought it was really cool. Jared, what about what about you and your character? How do you play into Dawn's uh, web of thrills and chills? Um, you know, my my character is he's sort he's the victim of her mastermind games. She, uh, you know, it's this lift ride, not not a ride chair. And you know, it's got this saw esque quality to it. But you know, instead of the you not know, just the voice, you have you know the person, but who's created this trap car. Uh, and my character is trapped in the in the car and has to abide by abide by the the rule the game the game that she's playing playing with my character and my uh my girl my uh fiance character kind of like a, a saw on wheels or an saw on wheels that's yeah, see? that's fucking perfect man yeah we, <laughs> somebody you, needs to write that down that's brilliant luckily this is being recorded so <laughs> somebody <laughs> jot that down um okay so uh so you get trapped all uh jared your your character Oliver gets trapped in there, and you guys got to make your way out. Um, so uh -huh. let's let's talk about how you guys got the roles. I mean, uh, was it audition? Was it just you know how did you come across the script? Um, Jackie, let's go with you first. Basically, I had worked with the director Nicholas um, before, and he sent me a script and asked me if I would be interested in reading the script. And he said, "Look." I would love for you to play this role. I think you can play crazy really well. That's what he, that's what he said. And um, so I read the script and I thought it was so interesting. I knew it would be a challenge because of obvious, obviously it's a lower budget film and there's a lot of kind of technical aspects to it. But I thought that the script was really unique and you don't see a lot of like female serial killer type roles. And also the fact that like the movie I felt had kind of a cool, deeper meaning to it. So that's what really, you know, drew me in. And I said, I, I would play Dawn. I would be, I would, I would love to play Dawn. That's it. And, yeah. and uh, what about uh, you, Jared? How did you end up with this part? You know, it's kind of, it's kind of a similar story uh, to Jackie in that, I uh, have known the producers, uh, James Cullen Presick and Jared First. I've known them for years, you know, um, and I've worked, I've worked with them, uh, you know, before. And the director, Nick, I've worked with many times as well. So it was really nice. It was, you know, sort of, you know, you know, they just sort of, the project sort of, you know, came to me in an organic way, but, uh, you know, 100% because, uh, you know, a, a 
my fr- uh, of, of friendships, you know, friendships yeah. with uh, fellow, you know, with filmmakers. Mm-hmm. And what's so funny is that people tend to forget that just because you're acting and you're in this movie, that that's you know that that you do you obviously do so much more. You you know you're writing, you're producing, you're directing. The both of you are right. I mean, you're you've got your hands like in all kinds of cookie jars in the movie industry, right? Um, yeah, Jared is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I I, I do. I got. I, I'm I'm. I guess I have my hands in a lot of cook, different cookie jars. I, that's a funny. That's a funny. Look, I'm trying to. I like cookies. You know. I got. <laughs> what can I say? I like cookies. I like um, cookies. I gotta put my hand in that cookie jar. <laughs> so, what, what really made you connect with this character, Jackie? And is there maybe a little bit of dawn in you? Uh oh. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, <laughs> the, there had to be something. What was that? There had to be something because you took the part. Well, did you see the? Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it. I did. Right. I watched the trailer and I was like, "That's cool." I like the yeah well the trailer yeah the trailer i don't know how much uh it gives very little uh, away yeah exactly but when i read the script obviously she's a she's a murderer so to me um whenever you play like a villain or anything like that you want to connect to like the most human aspect of of the character and i felt like you know obviously I'm not able to understand what, what her mindset is, but you always have to like empathize with your, with your character and you don't want to judge them or however horrible the, the uh, things that they do are. So yeah, I think it's just about finding like the human element in the, in the person. And I would probably say like, she just feels like passionate about what her cause is. And obviously we all have things that we feel passionate about in life that we want to defend or fight for so you know mine might I mean, be like rescuing animals but it might be different. Don, I mean, rescuing animals yeah you know, exactly Don, Don anything. likes to kill people right Jared loves the cookies Jared loves cookies so it's you like know, yeah, you I mean, that's, how, it. that's how it is it's you know yeah um <laughs> so <laughs> so what else do you guys have coming so this is coming out august 2nd and um i'm honestly mm-hmm. excited to see this because i love that weird glint in your eye in the trailer it was just like uh uh-oh she's 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 touched but um so i'm excited to see that august 2nd but what what do you have coming next well i have a bunch you know some movies coming out and not sure exactly when but i have one with billy baldwin and louise linton is called out of hand and it's like a thriller it's a really cool thriller mystery story and I play an interesting part in that and then just some other movies coming out and I co-wrote a script so hopefully that'll be you said you didn't do anything but acting well, I mean <laughs> like you in you in, inferred that so you're writing too mm-hmm. yeah I want to be a director like Jared he's my inspiration oh yeah uh, Jared, what do you have going on next? Um, uh, just, uh, I just finished a, actually a TV series. Uh, it was, uh, six episodes. Um, and I think it was, I heard that, I heard the title got changed to Disaster Strike Force, but when I just got a link, it was a new title on that. There was a emergency strike force so uh i guess i'm i guess emergency uh yeah emergency i, I did six episodes it's kind of i guess like a mini series um in front or behind the camera uh, behind yeah i awesome. directed i directed all 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 six episodes awesome um so that would be yeah, the next thing that is probably coming out uh, in terms of when I, I, I can, I don't know. We're still, we're, we're in, in post. In fact, I have to, uh, 
do some, uh, you know, watch a new code and give it give notes, you know. Right. Right. So that's that it, process. Yeah, and it's post is also its own sort of beast. Um, it's it's a big, you know, it's a huge phase of the production that not a lot of people kind of acknowledge because it goes into like a gestation period. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they say the movie's uh, made three times when it's written, when it's shot, and 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 when it's cut. Yeah, so. exactly. I mean, it worked for Moulin Rouge. So, um, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for for coming on, making the time to talk about the new movie Dawn that comes out tomorrow. Yeah, uh, Jared, Jackie, I'm excited to see this, and I'm looking forward to uh, interviewing you again. Thank you, Norman. All right. I like the background, by the way. It's cool. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's the Frida Cinema in Santa Ana. Oh, awesome. It's one of the best independent theaters in the nation. It's so good. It's so are good. you in California, by the way? Yes. Where are... Nice. Oh, where are you? Uh, right now, I'm in um, Santa Barbara, but I yeah. live in LA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's down in Orange County, Santa Ana. And cool. It's like a year-round film festival. They're great. So check it out. Awesome. Okay, guys. Thank Thanks you so Norman. much. And have a good day, man.